Today we're out on the road visiting Mishimoto in Newcastle, Delaware. Mishimoto is the world leader in cooling products and is based right here in Newcastle, Delaware. Today we're in their R&D facility, also known as the Fun Factory. Let me tell you, there's a lot of really cool stuff here. Mishimoto makes cooling products for your early and modern Mustang, along with products for some other vehicles we're going to show you today. We're going to give you a quick tour of their R&D facility, then take you next door and show you the rest of their campus. Mishimoto was founded in 2003. Let me tell you, these guys are enthusiasts. I mean, everything here is automotive. Exhaust tubing for the railings, custom hardware, the lighting. Everything they do is done by enthusiasts and they enjoy what they do. Cool stuff is everywhere, including Mishifet, one of several custom made robots here at Mishimoto. I'm standing here in front of an area they call the fishbowl, and basically what this is is a completely self-contained office area right inside their R&D facility. This is where your production people work, your engineers work. It's a very, very cool, very industrial looking office where they design the products that Mishimoto is going to offer. And we're gonna head over here. I'm gonna introduce you to Eric. Now, Eric has a lot of jobs here at Mishimoto, but basically his job is to figure out the stuff you guys need and then how to make it. Tell us about all these tools you're gonna to use in the production well, the design process here at Mishimoto. Okay, so some of the really cool tools we have here at Mishimoto to really help us develop parts in a fast-paced way, 3D scanner, 3D printers. This allows us to get a car in, scan it, scan what we need to, engineers build it in virtual reality, spit them out with the 3D printer, and actually test fit all within the same day. You're telling me you could take a car in here and literally park it here and just scan the entire car in like an hour? We can scan the entire car within an hour, maybe a little longer, depending on the engineer and how day, fluid they are. Have that a day, have a viable model within our uh, CAD system where we can basically take that, make a part, drop it in, and then 3D print it and test it on the vehicle. Now, once you do that, how long until that part is in production? Well, we'll take some samples. We usually get it right the first time after all the exhausting engineering we in R&D we do here in the facility. Um, within the time frame of getting a sample, making sure it's good, pulling the trigger, uh, a couple months. You said this is your newest machine. You said you guys are now printing in nylon. Tell me about that. Yeah, so now we are able to print in nylon some map housing. We can take it right from our engineering drawing, print it in nylon, put this right on a car. This goes right on a car. We start testing, dyno, road miles, everything. If we got it right from this iteration, we go right to here where we'll machine it and weld it aluminum in-house. Once this is good, these two start the process, final product. Now how many, how long is the nylon tested for? How long is the production, I mean, how, how, many, how long do these stages take? Like how long would you use that on a vehicle? I mean, is there issues with heat with it after a while? There is, so what we would do is we dyno test it, get all our dyno verifications with it, and then we put a thousand road miles on it. Okay, so this is basically gets the ball rolling. Gets the ball rolling, gets a lot of our data initiated, and we take a lot of factors into consideration, but we do take extremely a, a lot of data, a lot of OBD2 stuff, a lot of drive miles, a lot of different conditions that you would see driving your normal car. Okay, so then the second piece then becomes kind of the workhorse that gets all Correct. the abuse yeah. before the production piece is Exactly, the yep. That's the evolution of a map housing here at Mishimoto. This is one of the many production areas here at Mishimoto. Now what lives here are pre-production parts, some factory parts that are being scanned, and stuff like this here. This is basically a radiator that they're currently working on. You can see where they build the frame for the radiator. They printed the sides here, get a design, basic an idea of how everything is going to fit and go together before they work on further production. Mishimoto has their own fleet of vehicles they use for R&D, including they also have a Dynapack dyno and a Dynajet chassis dyno here. You can see the RS behind me. Now at this point, they haven't gotten their hands on a 2018 Mustang yet. We brought ours along so they can do some R&D on it while we're here. Maybe we'll even do some install videos.
Now there are several different buildings here at Mishimoto on their campus, and what better way to get from building to building than custom Mishimoto bicycles? We're over here now at the administrative building. This is where their marketing, sales, corporate, all those people are over here. Don't get it twisted, the R&D building is a lot more fun. There's a lot of fun stuff in here as well. One thing I've seen already, their short time being here at Mishimoto, is they really try to take care of their employees and make it more of a fun environment, not just a normal office environment. You saw the bicycles outside to get back and forth. There's all kinds of cool things to do, including a gym right here inside their facility. Now this is probably one of the coolest meeting rooms you're ever gonna see. Every other Tuesday, the end of the day, the entire company gets together here. They have a wine and cheese meeting, which basically ends up being a beer and cheese meeting. Basically they meet in here, they talk about what's going on with the company, they honor some employees, they give away some gift cards, you can play pool, there's basketball courts in here. This is a great place for the company to hang out. Just walking past their stack of magazines here and had to check it out. Check that out. My old 96 cover right there on the cover. One of the things they do here is when anytime anybody visits Mishimoto, they love to have you sign the wall. So they're going to do it while we're here. This is the newest building on the Mishimoto campus. This is an 88,000 square foot warehouse. Behind that plastic, they already have product here. This is going to be their new East Coast distribution. So now they have East and West Coast. A lot more product, a lot faster to the companies like us. While we're here at Mishimoto, they're doing some R&D on some parts and testing them on my 2018. And one of them is the coolant tank, which I've ran on previous models, and I like it and want to have it on my 18 as well. Now, if you look here, this is your factory tank, which has a lot of baffles in it. Mishimoto, same idea. Look internally, and you know, this one's actually cut open so you can see it has baffles, you can see it's a much, much nicer, stronger design than the factory one, looks a lot better too, and it's going to be a direct replacement, and it's available in this finish here, or the black finish as well. We had a great time visiting Mishimoto and even got some cool new parts on my 2018 Mustang to take home with me. We have Mishimoto parts on our website for your late model Mustang, your classic Mustang, as well as your Focus and Fiesta. So check out cjponyparts.com.